Alex and welcome to Hey Little Drifter. Today I'm going to be talking about Velocities, a short story collection by Kathy Koja. This is published by Meerkat Press and is coming out on April the 21st, so right around the corner. This is a collection of 13 short stories, two of which have not been published before, and it is an excellent collection. As you may know, if you've seen any of my other videos, you will have probably heard me already rave about Koja's work and her amazing writing style. So it will probably come as no surprise that I really enjoyed this collection. I think it's a pretty eclectic mix of stories. We have some that would definitely fit into the horror genre. We have others that are more literary, we have some historical ones. The characters and the content of the stories are quite different, yet there are also some similar themes running through a lot of the stories. And I found looking at the collection as a whole, if I had to choose just one word to describe it, it would be melancholy. I felt that there was a sense of sadness, a sense of longing, a sense of things being unresolved that was present within a lot of these stories and it's that feeling that will stay with you and will haunt you long after reading. My absolute favourite story within this collection is called Baby and it's about a woman who, when she was a child, she finds this old doll in her grandmother's attic. And it's hard to say much more about it without spoiling it, but it's definitely not your typical creepy doll story, and I will leave it at that, but it was weird and I loved it. There were so many other excellent stories within here. I think as with most collections there are going to be some that you like more than others and that was the case here but putting together a list of the other standout stories for me ended up being half the collection so yeah i really couldn't narrow it down any further so my other favorites within the collection were at eventide which is about a woman who is contacted from someone from her past and it is dark and mysterious and unsettling. Velocity is told partially in interview format with an artist. This was another dark one and strange and affecting. Coyote Pass is about a woman who wants to adopt a dog after her mother has passed away. This was a very strange and sad story. Road Trip is just an absolute punch in the gut. I'm not going to say any more about it, but it was great in a really horrible way. The Marble Lily is about a character who works in a morgue and there's a particular body that has been washed up in the river and the story is about his fixation with this woman. This is another one that it's really hard to say any more about it without giving it away, so I won't. And Pas de Deux, which is about a dancer and how she uses her body as a way of expressing herself. This one was really evocative and sexy and, again, dark and disturbing. Overall, I thought this was an excellent collection. I rated it four stars out of five. I think if you have read any of her novels and enjoyed them, then I would definitely recommend checking this out. Or if you haven't yet read anything by Koja, then this might be a really good place to start. So those were my thoughts on Velocities, a short story collection by Kathy Koja. Thank you to Meerkat Press for sending me this advanced copy for review. It is coming out on April the 21st. Thank you ever so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I will see you again in my next video.